All right. So first video about to start down the journey of the lithium ion 18650 salvaging from laptop batteries. I've salvaged a bunch. I probably should have YouTube or videoed that, but I'm doing this with my phone right now, so kind of have to jerry rig holding it so that it doesn't jerk around because it's not, you know, a professional camera. This is my first piece of equipment I ordered in from who knows where in China. I don't really know what it is. It says charger for cell phone. I don't think so. You can see right there, charger for cell phone. I hope it's the battery pack that takes the 18650s and works <clears throat> excuse me works as a portable battery backup for any more mobile devices came from Guangzhou China as an eBayer and I forget who it was but you can see the name on the tag Fang Weiwei came pretty fast got here in uh, 12 days I'm on the east coast of Canada so that's pretty fast, so let's open it up and take a look. Yes, it is the one that I wanted first. I have several other items coming to be able to do some DIY chargers, uh, some 18650 battery holders, and some uh, USB charge controllers for lithium ion. So let's see here. Very, very little. <coughs> You can see it just came in a bag labeled power box made in China all the commensurate labels rechargeable battery DC 5 volt adapter 7800 milliamp well it's whatever I put in it milliamp because it's empty off we go with this and already we've got this came flying off. Not sure what's going on right there. If you can see that. Yeah, see right there. I don't know what's happening there, but we'll find out in a minute. So let's lid comes off. There's the chassis. There's the back. Get this out of the way. So board. I don't want to break this thing, so I might go off camera for a minute. There's no instructions that came with this. So there's no particularly obvious way of dealing with this little gadget. I am probably going to have to grab a screwdriver from right around the corner. Possibly. Definitely being weird. Okay. So this also comes off the back.
So what's going on in here? And get this angle just right. You can see in there those little holes on this particular model. It's difficult to show you specifically, but there's those little pop tabs that you kind of reach in and push this way. Obviously that's not going to work. It's supposed to be a can opener. I'm going to go get a proper screwdriver and I'll be right back. So now the lid has come off. Base plate completely falls out the other side when you do that. I'm going to keep that upright in the same position so I know what's going on. So clearly these are the hollow outs here for the batteries to sit in. Small accessory bag. includes, be careful there's some screws in here. So here we have a controller board. As you can see there's a seven segment LED set on it. It's supposed to show the percentage battery remaining. We'll have to get in and find out what menus this thing has. Oh look, let's see there's two screws hiding right in there. So you can see there's two USB ports and the micro USB charger port to actually charge up the batteries that I choose to put in this. Different chips we've got, and I'll read this off. Possibly, maybe. Focus. Okay, so it's a Nuviton N79E815A T28. So I assume that's obviously an EE prom of some kind. On the back side, oh, these are hard to see. Silk screening on these are very, very light. Obviously, it's going to have all the protection circuitry in here. voltage. Oh man, another screw. Look at this. Voltage control to ramp up the voltage from 3.7 up to 5 volts. Obviously it's going to be buried in there. You can see some more components in there. Alright, well I am going to assemble this with some batteries that I salvaged and I'll do another video post it that shows the device in operation. Thanks.